Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, I see that I have gotten some new subscribers, so if you're a new subscriber or if you've not, or you've not subscribed but you have stumbled across my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm Cupid and today I wanted to do a reading called Who Thinks You Have a Crush on Them? And I thought it would just a, be a fun, interesting way to switch up the usual questions of like who has a crush on you or you know you know what you know what is who what is your crush to think of you instead let's figure out like let's ask about somebody who thinks you have a crush on them and you may or might you may or may not have a crush on them um we're gonna see right <laughs> it might come out that you do have a crush on this person and your feelings are reciprocated but either way we're gonna get into the reading, um, but before we do that, I do wanna give a couple little announcements. The first announcement is that I'm currently having um, computer problems, so up uploads will be very slow. I'm gonna try and um, have a video posted every other day, but yeah, I'm having computer problems, so sometimes things don't necessarily go how I plan. Um, because just uh, technology can just be so unpredictable in that way. Um, the what is the other announcement? Mm. Uh, I forgot. Maybe that's the only one. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, let's introduce your groups. We got um, some mini. Um, sorry, I went out last night. I forgot I had this bracelet on. Let me take it off. Um, but we have three mini perfumes. So the first one is this little white perfume bottle. This is like a Jessica Simpson um, sample. The second is this purple perfume bottle. It's a Clinique. And then what is the scent called? It's called um, Cocoa and Cashmere. So group two is Cocoa and Cashmere. Does this Jessica Simpson one have a title? Um, no, it's just Jessica Simpson. I don't see a title. Okay, and group three is the pink perfume bottle. This is also Clinique, and it is called Peony Picnic. Okay, so we have Jessica Simpson, Clinique Cocoa and Cashmere, and Clinique Peony Picnic. All right one two three as always i will have a picture for you to meditate and choose from if you meet um to pause the video and just take your time <sighs> <sighs> pardon me i had to yawn mm. but anyway i will see you guys at your reading all timestamps are in the description box below you've chosen the Jessica Simpson um, perfume sample very curious as to what this smells like Give me one second I have, to, I have to spritz it you know what I'm saying I believe in actions mmm it's a very light type of scent mmm very fresh very linen type Mm. Yeah, this is an, a nice alluring smell. So this person might feel like you're very alluring, okay? But let's get into this. First, so how I'm going to do this reading is a little different than how I usually do. I am going to um, be asking specific questions. So first we're going to figure out who thinks you have a crush on them. And I'm going to basically just try and describe their personality maybe try and pick up on some zodiac signs. You know, we're just gonna see what comes through. And then I'm going to ask the cards, how do they feel about your alleged crush on them? And then we're gonna ask, what you, what should you do, right? What should you do about this, how they feel about you thinking they have a crush on you, you have a crush on them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, taking a sip of my tea. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's get into it, group one. 
Who has a who thinks that group one has a crush on them spirit? Who thinks? three cards all right we have the Sun six of swords okay the moon mm. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody who um, I'm hearing somebody who like either missed out on an opportunity or they feel like you missed out on an opportunity. This is somebody um, from your past, possibly your childhood. Um, this is somebody who didn't speak up about how they felt, right? So I'm, I'm already sensing that this person does feel some type of way about you as well. But I'm seeing that this is somebody who um, could be a little immature or they are just kind of goofy and playful at times. And so they can come off as not really being like... Um, they're, they don't come off as like a super serious person, but this is somebody who thinks a lot about the past. They think about the things they didn't say or that they didn't do. This person is, um, there's a big part of them that is like hoping and waiting for an opportunity to, um, to s express these things right they feel kind of foolish right they they feel a little foolish when they're with you or when they think about the things that you've gone through in the past um this person probably works a lot or you know them from work um or both this person feels like um there's a lot of obstacles in the way when it comes to you Tell me about the person who thinks group one has a crush on them. This could be somebody that you dated, but I'm not seeing cups, so maybe you didn't date them, but this is definitely somebody that you knew in the past. Tell me more about this person's spirit. Who's this person that thinks group one has a crush on them? Mm, five of swords. Mm. Okay, they feel like you guys left off on um not really bad terms, but like unresolved terms with this five of swords here. Like, like things ended, but it wasn't really resolved. Um, and so that's why there's like just this lingering energy um, to them. They definitely like think about this situation a lot. They could be a Leo. I'm getting cancer, Leo. Um, strength just came out. This person is definitely really loyal, um, but I am seeing this, this is somebody that you had, that you were close to relatively, like it wasn't like a fleeting type of connection. It wasn't like somebody you had met on Tinder and talked to for like a month and then never again. Like this is somebody you knew for years. This is somebody who's seen you go through cycles. Um, they feel 
a little intimidated by you. Like I said, like they feel a little foolish when they're around you sometimes, um, especially when they think about this, the things they've done or said or how they've acted. Um, but then they also see you as somebody who has been authentic. Sorry, like half my deck just started falling apart. So that could just mean this is all spirit wants to give me about this person, but we will see. Um, but yeah, like they, they also feel like they've seen you be authentic as well. Like even though things may not have been like, like maybe you didn't have like a perfect friendship. They, they see you as somebody who has kept it pretty 100 with them all the time. Even if you both went through things, they, um, hmm. this is somebody who's very patient with the seven of pentacles. Um, they don't rush things, but I do see that this is probably, um, it, it does contribute to them missing out on opportunities because they don't really, um, they, they're very hesitant to just jump at things, right? This is an intellectual, this is somebody who is in, in their head, they think a lot, right? So they can sometimes, um, yeah, this page of swords just came out. Um, they'll, they'll, a lot of times they'll opt to play the role of the person who kind of like stands in the background and observes and they want to collect information before they make a decision. But sometimes it ends up being like a, like a perfectionist type of situation where, um, what, what they're waiting on or what they're hoping for is, you know, it, it keeps them from actually seizing opportunities because they want to. They wait for too long, they watch for too long, they think for too long, and they can miss out. But they are patient. Um, I also get this is somebody who's a very forgiving person. So maybe um, maybe you guys have went through things where you had to forgive each other. So they whatever you did go through in the past, like they're not really... They don't really hold anything against you or them, but they do feel foolish. Like they, they do feel like I'm not, I'm, I'm doing a lot. You know what I mean? Like they're just like, I'm, I'm doing a lot, you know, can I get anything else about this person's spirit? I'm definitely getting some fire air placements. Pisces possibly. Um, I'm getting Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer. Anything else, Spirit? This person, yeah, they definitely procrastinate a lot. They, they, they hesitate. They, yeah, they hesitate, but they want to come forward. I'm, I'm really seeing that, that a part of them wants to, like, say something. Um, they have a lot to say, but this water energy that they have, like, it's definitely making them um, feel... It's not no because air is definitely like that as well. But it's something. It's like because they're sen because they are a sensitive person. Um, even if they might, you might not get to see that part of them very much because they are a sensitive person. They're very protective of their energy and they're very protective of like, you know, their heart and stuff. And so they can, they end up just hesitating, like one foot in, one foot out, um, because they're scared. This person could be somebody who is a bit of a loner. They stay to themselves um, in general. This is somebody who could be hard to reach, I'm seeing. Um, this somebody who could be hard to pin down. This person could... Two of Pentacles. Okay, this person could be juggling a lot of things right now all right just checking the time oh this person could be juggling a lot of different responsibilities right now this person could be um 
they could have issues prioritizing um, or they they have to prioritize some some things more than others and um, they're not really happy about it or that's why they can't exactly like do anything you know um, in regards to how they feel because I'm not seeing any cups okay I'm not seeing any cups there's water but no cups so I feel like this person they there's something about how they feel about you that they want to express um, and I'm thinking because they don't have cups it's but there's water here I feel like what it is is that they have these deep they have deep feelings right this is not puppy love this is not um, and it's not an easy connection either right this is something deeper and more um, personal right the feelings this person has for you or towards you are in a lot of ways um, you know highlighting the type of emotional growth that they need to go to go through so it's not I think it's it's very much 5D, right? Their they, their emotions are very much 5D, um, and that's why there's not any cups out here. Like I would say, this person, especially with the hangman and the moon, I mean, this is somebody who doesn't even. They might have a hard time in general being like they probably aren't really into PDA. They probably don't like say a lot of lovey dovey stuff. You know, this is somebody who. When it comes to expressing um, the more, you know, cutesy type of things, like, they can have a trouble with that. So I feel like if that's the case, if you know who I'm talking about, that's why um, there aren't any cups out on the table in terms of the sweets. But this person does have some deep emotions in regards to you. But I want to get into how do they feel about your alleged crush now in the comments please let me know if you do have a crush back on this person i'm getting that um hmm. i don't know it could be mixed for this group because like i said it, it did seem like this person may have missed an opportunity with you um they hesitated they didn't say the things they needed to say so i feel like at one point you did have you did feel some type of way about them um, but I'm not sure now so some of you could still like this person some of you may not but how does the group ones how does this person feel about group ones alleged crash and I'm just gonna get to three cards Okay, so we have, this is the, what is this? The queen? No, no, no. This has to be high priestess, right? Because these are Roman numerals. Okay. High priestess. We have the knight of wands. How does this person feel? about your crush. High Priestess, Knight of Wands. I'll get two more cards. This is the fool. This 
this is the um, the Casanova Tarot. If you're wondering. Okay. And we have nine of pentacles. Mm. And then six of swords. This is interesting. This is interesting. Okay. This is this person. I'm hearing, girl, you know, I can't do. You know what I'm saying? Girl, you know I can't. Like, it's like, okay, with this high priestess, this to me is saying that, so you could be very intuitive, you could be a tarot reader, you could be just, maybe you guys discussed this before, but they're basically saying like, there's something that you, it's like you know where they are in their life, especially with this Knight of Wands um, and the Fool. Like, this is somebody who is on the on the move, this is somebody who's busy. This is somebody who is, um, I'm just getting a really free spirit. This could be somebody who likes to travel or will be traveling soon, or they just, they just move a around a lot. I'm seeing this is somebody who can't really be tied down at the moment. Um, and then we have, um, the nine of pentacles. And so to me, it's like, it's not even that this person is, is that this person, not only are they um, focused on their own independence and stability, but this is somebody who's really like solo dolo, right? They, they, they work alone, right? Um, and I'm looking at this image here, and it's almost like, you know, they'll come, they'll wake you up out of your bed, right? You know, they'll they'll give you what your other guys can't give you. Not to say you don't have to be a woman. It doesn't your gender doesn't matter, but like, you know, this is just an analogy. So, um like, you know, they'll give you what the other people that you're with can't give you, but they can't stick around, okay? Um They and they you know this is what they're saying. You know they really can't give you stability um and with the six of swords at the bottom of the deck um um i feel like they i hear a couple things it's like it's like they're saying you can't change this but they're also saying like I understand if you moved on um, or, you know, I understand if it's like really um, bittersweet. It's like they're saying, I understand if you have put that behind, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, because it's like, they right? it's like, it's hard because they like you is what I'm saying. Like they like you, they have deep feelings. And they feel bad, right? Because they did, it's like, I feel like you may have expressed some things to them before and they turned it down, right? And now because of that, things are different. You know what I mean? You guys could still be in contact. You guys could, you know, still be seeing each other or whatever. But, but things are different now, right? How you're looking at them is different. The connection's different. And so part of them is kind of saying like, I understand that things can't be the same. You know what I mean? And I understand that it's like, I feel like for a lot of you, you did move on. Like you still like them maybe, but they, they've recognized that you have moved on 
from the emotional aspect of this, right? You, you've you moved on from wanting something more with them. And as much as they can't be what they feel you need, it still hurts them that, um, that they've missed out on this opportunity. It's still very disappointing for them that you aren't really looking at things the same. Um... I'm also seeing that, first of all, they love hooking up with you. They like, if you guys hooked up, I'm getting this is a group of people who've hooked up, but they find you very attractive. Like I said, they they will pull up. Like they want to they want want to pull up. They want to hook up. They want to, and they want to keep doing that. But they also like see that you are now like accepting that and. It does kind of make, it's a bittersweet type of feeling with the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like, yeah, um, things are in the past. Uh, I want to clarify some things. Can we clarify this? Ooh. So then I clarified the Nine of Pentacles and got the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like this person really feels like they have to be in this solo spot right now so that because they don't have enough because they yeah right because they don't have enough they're trying to build up what they have for themselves first and so that's why they can't really give anything Seven of Wands. I see. I see. Okay, because a lot more is coming out, right? Because I've clarified it, it's like what I'm hearing is a lot more. literally clarifying each and every one of these so give me one second not as terrible as it sounded before okay so this person they are at a crossroads okay this person is really in their head about what they want to do because on one hand they definitely feel like they just don't have enough to offer you anything um they also feel like they missed the opportunity in the past. There's some ego that plays into this. So they don't really, a part of them is like very resistant to the idea of like um, stepping out again. You know what I mean? Um, but down here, how they, when I get how they feel. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the moon. 
Um, the High Priest is clarified by the Queen of Wands. The Knight of Wands clarified by the Seven of Wands. The Fool clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So it's it's a little complex, but let's get into it. Oh, and then I had Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, but let's get into it. So I feel like with the Six of Wands clarified by the, the Moon, I'm definitely getting this energy of this person like... They want to stop putting aside their feelings, right? Because up here, we were talking about how, you know, they miss the opportunity. They hold back their emotions. They don't say what they want to say. They probably procrastinate. They're a bit of a perfectionist. You know, they stay in the background and, and it causes them to miss out on a lot of opportunities. Um, with the Six of Swords, I feel like they really want to put that behind them. They want to move on from this habit of, being so closed off all the time and not expressing what needs to ex be expressed. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to miss out on another opportunity. And I do feel like they feel as if, especially with this three of pentacles here, um, they feel like a new opportunity is on the rise with you specifically, um, or, or a new op opportunity has risen already. Um, but they feel like they're they're getting another chance or one is coming and they are feeling like a big part of them wants to take this chance. Now, like I said, they are at a crossroads, so I can't tell you whether or not they will take a chance, but a big part of them wants to. A big part of them recognizes that they're going to have an opportunity to soon. Um, and then we have the high priestess clarified by the queen of wands. And so I'm he seeing here, like, girl, you know you're attractive. You might not be a girl. I'm sorry if you're not a girl. Take it as it resonates. Apply it as it needs to be applied. Um, I should also say that um, if you feel like the energy switched, even though it's supposed to be what they think, if you feel the energy switch, that's okay. But um, they're like, girl, you know you're attract. You know I'm attracted to you. You know you're beautiful. It's like they're already saying, you know how much I like you, right? Like, a part of the, like, it's like almost like they feel like they know they haven't expressed anything um, verbally probably, but they, they feel like you already know, right? They're acknowledging that you already know how they feel. A part of them feels like they wish that would be enough, You just you knowing, but they know that it's not because you know people make assumptions and project every day like you can't just expect people to read your mind um or at least not comfortably you know what i mean but yeah they they think you're very attractive and they feel like you know this you know that you um it's like you know their weaknesses when it comes to you um and then with the knight of wands clarified by the seven of wands i feel like this is them this is a passionate person right and there aren't any cups out here either there's all these there's the water there's water here but there's no cups which i think is so this person is definitely fire air earth um has a lot of influence this person um the earth in them is off the charts i would say that and the fire is definitely there's a lot of fire in this person but this, they value stability a lot. They they have Earth, Venus, or Moon, um, but they value stability a lot. They they value money a lot, and they feel like they put a lot of their their worth, or they they um, perceive a lot of their self worth to be tied to what they can give. You know what I mean? But with this. Um, Nine of Wands being clarified by the Seven of Wands. I feel like this is them wanting to, like, claim you, right? Claim what, what they feel is theirs, what they feel that they're passionate about. You know what I mean? Like, putting your flag in the dirt. This person, it's like, they're saying, like, I they like you so much. When they see you, they just want to make you theirs. And with the Fool clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, like, they want to give this a chance. They want to jump off the cliff. They want 
to take the chance and give you what you you know they they want that new beginning where they can give you what what they can give you but it's like with this nine of pentacles clarified by the five of pentacles it's like they just can't right now you know what i'm saying because it's like like i said she in this picture has another guy but then this dude's like sneaking in trying to you know and it's like i don't have anything right now right and so this is what i can give you right this is what i can give you right now but i wish i could give you more pretty much um, but like i said with this three of pentacles it's like they're recognizing that a new opportunity is on the horizon but they just they don't know. They're so unsure. I do feel compelled to say that if they just put their mind to it, if they just, you know, this person just has a lot of doubt, right? Like the ego is so strong here that it really does put them in this place of just so much doubt where they just they go around in circles with what they what they're going to do over and over and over to the point where they often end up doing nothing um yeah cuz it's like they they ride in solo but behind the scenes it's like they, they're trying to say, like, behind the scenes, it's not even what you think it is. Like, there's so much less. Like, when I come around, I'm, my head is held up high and I'm, you know, but when you're not around, my life isn't together. Or at least not how I would want it to be. I'm not the Knight of Pentacles yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't. I'm right like I, I keep hearing I can't like I just I don't I can't but let's see what you need to do right we're gonna get into what should you do about this person's assumption of your crush so you got the two of wands and we're clarifying that with the Nine of Swords. Hmm. And the star at the bottom of the deck. So I think this is definitely about hope, having hope. Um, but Two of Wands is about, you know, I feel like, <laughs> what do you want to do? Right? And I think this is like in regards to both of you, right? Both of you are being held back by fear right a fear of not having enough fear of not being enough and it's keeping you both very stagnant it's keeping you both in, in a place where you don't want to be because you're holding on to where you are now because you feel like it's safer than jumping into the unknown um even though with the star at the bottom of the deck it's like the, what you want and what you dream of is so much bigger than this, right? What you really want is so much bigger than what you have. So much more beautiful than what you have. Um, so why aren't you pursuing it, right? In a lot of ways, I don't want to say you're, you, you are settling because I don't know what you're doing right now. Um, and this is very vague because this is not saying stay with this person or pursue this person or... I think it's going to be very different for everybody. Um, but very generally, you're holding on to something out of fear instead of pursuing what you really want because you don't want to ha not have enough, right? You don't want to deal with the disappointment of not having enough or not being enough. And in this person's case... Um, they definitely are having a lot of issues surrounding being enough and having enough. And they don't know if they can be or have enough for you. Um, 
and that's what's keeping them from actually like pursuing and and putting themselves out there you know and expressing how they feel um, and I think that's why the the feelings are so deep they they're deeper than cups because this person is just in their head this is about um this is about trust you know trusting the process trusting the divine trusting um you know just the journey you know you're you're gonna get hurt you're gonna you know but if you if you always if you're always acting or not acting out of fear then how can you how can you truly see how far you can go you know what i mean um so your advice is to just consider that i think you know what's what's holding how are you holding yourself back out of fear especially in regards to this connection so for example let's say you are involved with this person but like i said like them they feel they keep saying they can't give you enough they don't have enough they can't give you enough but you're you stay even though you're unhappy because you love them and so you know facing the unknown is like okay but what if i leave this and there's not enough out there right or on the flip side like i said you both like each other but you're not pursuing it because what if the relationship fails what if you know you can't have enough so like i said it's going to be different for everybody but i'm going to leave that there for group one thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this reading then make sure to give it a thumbs up be, feel free to leave a comment in the description box i mean i don't know why i said that i feel like i said that last time too feel free to leave a comment okay and if you want to be notified whenever i post new videos go ahead and subscribe and ring the notification bell um, if you would like to support me i do private readings i am open for i'm open for books so if you want to book with me the link for that is in the description box. I do have a shop on my website. You can go check that out. I do have a way for you to donate to me if you just want to donate. Like I said, I'm having computer problems. I would really love to get a new computer. If you guys want me to upload faster, I probably will need a new computer. So if you if you feel like you can, that I would always appreciate it. Um is there anything else? I don't think so. I will see y'all at the next reading. Bye. Group two, you've chosen the Clinique um, Coco. Ah, Coco and Cashmere. Pardon me. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to be asking about who thinks you have a crush on them. Um, if you do have a crush on them or if you don't have a crush on them, doesn't matter. We just want to know who thinks you do. Um, we're going to, after we ask about who they are, I'm going to try and figure out like maybe some zodiacs, just some personality traits, whatever comes through. Then we're going to um, ask how do they feel in regards to your supposed crush. And then we'll get some advice. For you in regards to what to do about it so let's get right into it group two let me um start a timer so i can keep up my my um camera okay let's start shuffling Who thinks group two has a crush on them? Who thinks group two has a crush on them? Hold on. I didn't even smell the, f I didn't even smell it. of a sweet smell mm. 
This person might think you're really sweet. Okay. So I'm just tapping in. All right. Who thinks group two has a crush on the spirit, please? Okay. We have a page of wands. The high priestess. Page of Cups. Interesting. I definitely feel like this is somebody younger than you. Page of Swords. Okay, we got Two of Cups. Hmm. This could be somebody already in a, in a relationship. Several people think you have crushes on them. Yeah. There's a few people. Okay. Mm. I feel like you go on a lot of dates. These are people you've gone on dates with. Um, with this judgment. I'm feeling like... Um, like dating apps i'm getting something about dating apps um these are people that you've probably met on a dating app either like hinge or tinder or anything like that um and you come off very mature right there's something about the way you come off with this high priestess that they see you as like, and I am getting like several people and their pages because I feel like you've gone on maybe only one or two dates with them or not, no dates at all. Maybe just like talking, like exchanging messages. Um, but yeah, I'm, I feel like this death has come out because it's like, these are just people you were kind of just flipping through right um and to see what it's about but there's not much to know about them with this five of wands um they could feel like they have to compete for your attention a bit but they do think these people do think that you like them right they do think that you have crushes on them but with this high priestess, I feel like they might feel like you're um, you're definitely a little intimidating. They might feel like they can't get away with stuff, okay? Or like there's this energy of you'll cut them off or there's this energy of you're just going to know if something's up. But I'm definitely not getting any vibe that you got, you're close to these people at all. Can I get one more card? Tell me more about the people or the person who thinks group two has a crush on them. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. 
the tower. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fight happened or an argument. Some type of argument happened. Something that has made this person or people feel like you like them more than you do. Maybe you blew up on them about something. Um, maybe there was an argument about something. Or there was just some type of conflict. But they are missing. They misinterpret it as you being more into them than you are. Um, this person or people is just very immature um, and childish. You could be in college, I'm thinking. Um, so you're like focused on your education and stuff, um, and not really on them like that. We have the Strength and Ace of Cups. Mm. Yeah, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like you were just trying to date. Like You were just trying to like have fun. And you know what I'm saying? But there's something here with this tower... Maybe, ooh, maybe you're, like, trying to rebound, right? You're just trying to rebound um, after a breakup or after some type of, you know what I'm saying? You're just trying to go out and have fun, um, and I don't think they get that. I think they're just, like, they are in their ego while you're in your ego, um, and so then they think that you like them. But let's see. Because I do think for some of you, it's more than one person. I feel like for others, this could be all one person. But I'm, I'm getting like, it's several people who think you like them more than you really do. Um, misinterpreting, right? Let's see. What, how do they feel about your crush? How does group two's people feel about their some alleged crush? How do they feel about the alleged crush? We have Queen of Pentacles. We have the tower again. Oh, and we have the lovers. This this is the lovers, right? Mm. Ooh, two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so one or all of them know that you're dating other people. They want you to choose, right? Um, I feel like you could have recently had somebody get upset with you because you were dating other people. Um, I'm getting that somebody very strongly wants to... Um, wait, this is not the tower. This has to be the Wheel of Fortune, right? Um... But they still, like, they want you to, uh, like, give them a chance, okay? The two of swords, like I said, at the bottom of the deck, it's like they want you to, it's like you're not really seeing, it's like they feel like you're not seeing what they have to offer. Um, you're not seeing what they bring to the table or what they, you know, how much they care or want to be with you or whatever. And so how they feel is 
it which is really confusing it's almost like these people like you but you don't like them but it's weird because i'm asking who thinks you have a crush on them but then these people come through um and maybe it's because you don't really have anybody who thinks you have a crush on them but you're dating around right so they think you like them obviously but they they also feel like you you like other people and you're dating other people and they want you to like and they want to be exclusive they want to stop whatever's going on you know they don't want you to keep dating other people they are ready for you to you know they they're ready to be lovers is what i'm seeing here so that's pretty interesting group 2 because like i said like to me, it's not coming off like you do like them, but there are obviously like several people and this one person specifically who think that you like them a lot. Um, but yeah, they, they want you to give them a chance. They want to be together. They want you to um, retire from the streets and be with them. But let's see, what is your advice? Ooh, two of swords again. Ooh, wow, the lovers keeps trying to come out. I guess, okay. I guess your advice is coming out to me. It's like saying, well, do you want to be in a relationship? Because like I said before, some of you are trying to rebound from a relationship, right? Some of you are not in a place to commit to a new person um and so your advice is to really ask yourself because if you you know what i'm saying because there's options around you but you're also not seeing that you could just like not choose any of these people um but you have to figure out first like because the lovers is coming out so this person like wants to be together they want to be with you you need to determine because to you know the lovers is not just oh two cups that's like dates but the lovers is like you know you need to figure out yeah i want to rebound yeah i want to have fun but do do i really 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 want to be in another relationship um so that's your advice group two if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to leave a comment if you would like to be notified whenever i post new videos Make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, <sighs> if you would like to support me, um, I am open for private readings. You can book with me in the link in the description box. There's also my shop on my website. So the link for that is in the description box as well. And if you would like to donate to my channel and help me get a new laptop, then you can do that as well. And info for that is in the description box. But I will see y'all at the next reading. Bye. You've chosen the Clinique Peony Picnic. So the way we're going to be doing this reading is I'm going to be getting um, some information about who they are. I'm just going to try and pick up on anything I can. And then after we figure out who thinks you have a crush on them, um, we're going to figure out how do they feel about that. Uh, and then we're also going to get advice for what, for what you need to do. So I did smell all the scents. So... I'm not smelling yours. Mmm. Yours smells really nice. Very bright. And very like, I don't know, a little citrusy. Mmm. I mean, definitely like um, floral, but it's very like, almost like a, f a fruity floral scent. Ooh. Um. It's very uh, uplifting. So this person might see you as somebody being who's very optimistic and bright is what I'm getting. So let's see who 
thinks that group three has a crush on them spirit please help let us know who thinks group three has a crush on them so we already have a knight of cups so maybe this is a water sign We got a Ace of Pentacles. We have a King of Wands. Okay. For some reason, I just heard Scorpio. Queen of Wands. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for some of you, you're actually in a relationship already with this person. That's cute. Uh-oh. Dang. Okay. So I do think this is somebody that you're already in a relationship with or you're in some type of connection. You could live with this person or this is somebody that you're going to be living with soon or they're going to they're going to propose some type of living arrangement. Um, this is somebody who I'm definitely getting fire because both of you are coming out as the king and queen of wands. But with this nine of cups, I do feel like there's some water energy here. Um, but this is somebody who wants something very stable with you and sees you as like their natural counterpart. Can I get some more information, please? Oh, I didn't even start my timer. Okay. Tell me more. Please give me more information. Oh, we have Queen of Cups. Okay. Mm hmm. This is somebody who possibly wants to apologize for something. This is somebody that wants to make up for something. Yeah, judgment wants to come out too. Oh, or they want to ask. They definitely want to propose something to you. But I do feel, oh, they, they're very nervous about what it is that they want to bring forward. Um, but they do feel, let me clarify this, Queen of Cups, please. Um, wow, a lot of, hold on. Yeah, I feel like they, they want to ask you to move in with them, but I'm also hearing for some of you, they want you to leave a, another situation behind right like you could be entertaining another person um and they want you to make a decision they want you to leave your other boo for them um they they want to suggest something to you but they're very nervous about it it could be moving in together or something else um judgment definitely hearing like trust me this will be fun things are gonna work out they feel like they've disappointed you or they feel like you're going through a hard time you're very stressed out and they want to like alleviate some of the stress for you like they want to figure out what what can they do to get you to have more fun and to like you're just from their perspective you're not in such a hot place um you could be weighed down from by some decisions that you need to make Hmm. Right. I 
feel like some of you, there's been something you've been trying to do on your own in regards to your money um, or career um, that that is making you very tired and stressed. They kind of want to do something to help get your mind off of it. Like, I'm here either go on a trip or go to a spa or something like that. Tell me a little more. Can I get a little more? I, I'm not really getting too much because I do feel like you guys are together. There's definitely something about work. They want to suggest making something work or, or getting something to work. Um, perhaps this relationship, it's the relationship that's been draining. Um, but they, they do have a lot of love for you. They're just nervous about how to make this work with you. I'm getting. Um, hmm. Right. There's something about your happiness here. So, like, I feel like your relationship could be going down a rough patch. This person could think... For some of you, this person... Um, thinks you're going to break up with them or not or or maybe it's not that specific but they feel like they think that like your relationship is on the rocks right they kind of want to just start bringing you gifts they just want to give you like a part they want to do any and everything that they think would make you know this relationship better is what i'm saying but I do feel like you are already in a relationship with this person. So I feel like that's why there's not much details coming out. Um, because you are you already know this person. But let's see, how do they feel about your crush, right? How do they feel about your feelings? definitely a lot of fire water um earth is strong well earth is coming out but i think it's just there's something about stability here but i do feel like there's heavy water earth i mean he heavy water and fire placements i'm getting specifically like leo sagittarius and as for water i'm getting scorpio um but yeah So I think this is the star. This is the queen of cups. Mm. After this, I'm going to take a bath. I got to relax today because... First of all, I woke up late, so the day is like almost over anyway. But I need to relax. Ooh, this is um, the magician. I'm gonna get one more card for how did they feel about your crush? Your alleged crush, even though I do think you guys are already in a relationship. And this is the tower, I believe. Okay. So, and then we have eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like the way they feel is very much like, it's almost like disbelief. A part, first of all, disbelief, but like really grateful. At the, like, the core of it is that they're very grateful with this eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They're so grateful for all that you've done for them. 
um, for what this relationship has brought them, um, all of your support. But with the star and the queen of cups, it's like, this is more than they could have ever, you know what I'm saying, like, ever asked for. Like, you're a dream come true. You give them, you know, you give them, sorry, I'm texting, I'm texting the bros. Okay. Um, with the stars, like you, you're like a dream come true for them. Like you, you nurture them, you take care of them. And I get that's why maybe you're very drained because you do give so much to this connection. And, um, they, it's like, they feel like they, they've never thought that they would be with somebody who would be pretty much everything they've asked for. Um, with this um, magician and I'm looking at the eight of pentacles too it's like you could be very healing there's this element of you that's very healing and nurturing and and the way you give to this connection inspires them and makes them feel like a better person you know like they're doing the things that they're supposed to do you know what I'm saying or you help guide them but that's where this tower comes in it's like um it they're they are because they can't really believe it. They all, it's like they can't understand why um, they feel they're very hard on themselves or and they, they take things very um, you know they're, they're pretty sensitive and so like they are kind of always on edge. like remember I was saying like they might think you want to break up with them or they're nervous that the relationship is ending or that you you're gonna have to make a decision about something. And it's like a part of them is always on edge. Like they, if, if they do anything that they feel um, would make you not want to be with them, it's, you know, it's like they, they want to just, what they really want more than anything is just to be with you. Um, and they just don't want to mess it up. But there's a part of them that feels like they will, you know, because you're so perfect it's like you're so perfect for them that they they don't see how they can't mess this up right it's almost like it's too good to be true and they they just can't trust it a part of it is that they can't trust it and so they overcompensate by by either apologizing or doing favors for you or just you know because they don't want you to have any reason to be unsatisfied but I do think um they can feel sometimes the emotional depletion and it does make them very worried but you know it makes them very worried that you're going to like leave them like give up and leave them like it's going to be too much but like I said I'm looking at this eight of pentacles and they're just so grateful they see you as that one person that really does understand them that one person that really does you know give and nurture and take care of them and and you put in the effort to meet them where they are um yeah that's what i'm seeing you know but the, but a part of them is like always like waiting for the ball to drop waiting for or just anticipating that something's gonna happen to make you drop the ball because like they hmm. it's just like I said it's just too good to be true to them they definitely want to start a family with you like with the queen of cups here I definitely they see you as their their partner right they see you as the person that they want to have kids with um they see you as the person that they want to build a life with right like you are um their end their end goal you know what i mean but they just and like i said you guys could be going through like a rough patch right now um and they they could be unstable right now um financially or otherwise and so there's some or or you are unstable right now financially or otherwise and so they're really like hoping that this instability doesn't um cause the relationship to crumble and fall apart 
right? They're hoping you guys can get through this tough time because they do say, see a future with you, right? This is somebody who wants to marry you, I'm seeing. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. Actually, let me check the time on the camera. Okay, we're at that many minutes. <gasps> oh. Guys, I just did a nice stretch. It felt good. But anyway, sorry for that. I didn't mean to <laughs> get distracted. But um, I want to get your advice. Like, what do you do? What What is your advice in regards to this person's feelings about your feelings that they think you have which I, I think you have these feelings right okay what is your advice in the situation group three what is group three's advice in this situation here? can I just get one card We have six of coins and we have eight of coins. Okay. And then we have knight of cups. So your advice, when I see the six of coins and the eight of coins comes out, it does make me think that you're being encouraged to um, be patient and um, understanding, right? Because six of coins to me, is about reciprocity or a lack thereof and so um a part of that to me is extending some like understanding you know finding that common ground and being willing to just you know meet that person where they are mentally um and then eight of coins is of course you know, working on your connection. Um, now, I do feel that this could also be about making sure that you are getting what you need. Um, Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like it's saying that this person wants to give you what you are are deserving of. Um so just extending um, that understanding to them and, and bridging that gap, allowing them to give to you, right? And allowing um, the relationship to play out, um, trusting that you're both working on something that, you know, say you're both going to see this flourish and be beautiful, okay? Um, I hope that made sense. I feel like I just kind of tumbled off there. But that's the advice. Um, so just take that as it resonates. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Um, and if you would like to be notified whenever I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And ring the notification bell. Uh, also, if you would like to support me in any way, I am open for private readings. And if you'd like to book with me, um, a link will be in the description box down below, as well as a link to my shop on my website. I'm an artist, so I do have some cool stuff in my shop. So go check that out, link in the description box. And if you want to donate to my channel, there is also... Um, some info for that in the description box as well. So um, feel free to check all that stuff out. I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.